Hi everyone, John Rodeo's again, your favourite Tory boy, and um, I want to tell you, um, yesterday I voted in the local elections in Middlesbrough, one of them was for uh, selecting a mayor, and the other vote was for uh, selecting local councillors. Um, the, the vote for the mayor was uh, pretty straightforward. It was um, two choices. Uh, and I cast my ballot for the Conservative candidate. Uh, that was um, a pink, uh, sorry, not, no, it was kind of purple, pinkish purple form, something like that. Um, but the other one, um, which is a white ballot form, was um, pretty interesting to me because I was allowed, as indeed I guess all people were, on the white form, to have the opportunity of selecting up to three candidates. Now, given that um, in the first time since I was allowed to vote, uh, when I was 18, um, and I'm now currently uh, 72, so that'll give you some idea of uh, how long we're talking about here. Um, I was asked to provide photo identification in order to cast my ballot. Now... I didn't question that because I was informed by certain uh, websites on the internet that this was being done to prevent alleged votal fraud. Now, okay, all well and good so far, but as I uh, selected only one candidate on the white paper ballot form, which, by the way, was the Conservative candidate, in case you haven't guessed, right? What happens if, and I must stress the word if, when that ballot form is posted in the ballot box by non-road user, right, and somebody cuts it off somewhere to open it and count my ballot, I guess, right, what happens potentially... And again, I stress the word potentially. Somebody decides to place another two crosses in, let's say, for example, the Labour candidate or the Green Party candidate or the Independent candidate, okay? So, I was asked a number of questions by the um, person who provided me with the ballot forms, right? <clears throat> and, and indeed, I answered all of her questions. Okay. 
But I've got a question. How do I know, and indeed, how can I confirm that my ballot for the, the white ballot I'm talking about here with the three potential candidate selections of which I only uh, chose to uh, put across in one of them wasn't altered in some way, shape or form. Where is my redress to this question that I have? Am I able to contact someone at the electoral authority or whatever they call themselves and say, please email me my returned ballot form because I want to see how that ballot form ended up in the electoral process. I think that's a fair question. And um, let's see where we can go with this. So um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think that's about all I've got to say on this subject. And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Any updates, I will uh, duly post, if there are any. And uh, catch you later. Bye.